Conexões é uma série de vídeos de música e bate-papo onde eu interajo com musicistas incríveis de diversos países e culturas. Nesse vídeo de hoje eu vou trocar essas ideias e canções com uma musicista que vem diretamente da Finlândia. Ela se chama Emi Kuyampa. Ela é cantora, compositora, educadora musical também e cantelista. Ela toca cantele, que é tipo uma harpa, um instrumento tradicional da Finlândia. Além disso, ela é pesquisadora de cantos tradicionais finlandeses e búlgaros. Então, vai ser bem lindo esse bate-papo. Eu gostaria de convidar você também para ver os outros oito vídeos dessa série com musicistas de Gana, Colômbia, Kurdistão, França, Venezuela, Espanha, Guiné-Bissau e Argentina. E também o primeiro vídeo de abertura dessa série, onde eu falo mais sobre esse projeto, sobre como ele surgiu, qual que é a importância que eu vejo nele e também sobre quem sou eu. Então, vamos lá. Hello, Amy! Are you there? Hello! Hello! Nice hello. to meet you, Thais. Oh, hello! It's so nice to see you. So nice to see you, you again. Too. Thank you very much for joining me in this project of making connections around the world. And I'm so glad to have you here because I'm a big, big fan of yours, of your music and of your person also, <laughs> above oh, all. Thank you. I'm also yours. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I was wondering, would you like to start with music? We would like to hear you. Yes, I will start with music. I will play a bit of my composition where I combine Finnish and Bulgarian folk music. Whoa. And here is Kantele, a Finnish folk instrument. Perfect. <laughs>
beautiful. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you so much for this music. You're Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It sounds wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I love it. I love it very much. Thank you very much. So Thank this you. is your composition. Yes, it's my composition. I made it around five, no, it's more, seven years ago. And it's a story about a young girl and a mother. And the young girl is complaining that, oh, I don't have a boyfriend or I, have, I don't have a groove. And then mother is saying that don't complain that everything will be okay. Oh, so it's kind that's of so a nice. Recording song, and it does, the lyrics are both in Bulgarian and Karelian languages. <laughs> so. The the lyrics you said, sorry. Yes, the lyrics are they are both in Bulgarian and also in Karelian languages. Ah, you compose the song in the Bulgarian language. Yes. yes. Wow. Oh, you speak yeah. Bulgarian, do you? I speak like uh, this, uh, like ordinary. Uh, yeah, I speak Bulgarian. <laughs> wow, wow, that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. And um, so, in Bulgarian, and the other language was Karelian. Karelian. But yes. Karelian, it's um, uh, what kind, What language is Karelian? I didn't. I didn't remember that there is a Karelian language. It's more yes, like Finnish, like, it's more a, like Russian. It's a, like between Finnish and Russian. Wow. Like it's a really close to Finnish language, but it's still like an own language. There is a lot of influences from Russian language. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's like between like Finno-Ugric and Slavic languages. Okay. But it's, it's now they are more like, I think they are starting to how to revival the Karelian language also here in Finland. Yes. It has not been so much spoken, but in uh, in the Russian side of Karelia, there is uh, Karelian speakers. Yeah. And oh. so explaining for people who have no idea of what is Karelia, because I do remember a bit, but maybe not everything. But Karelia, it's a region that it's on the it's north of region. Finland and there is part in Finland, part in Russia maybe in yes. Norway too or only Finland and Russia? Only in Finland and Russia and it's in Eastern Finland. It's a, like a, a Eastern border of Finland. Yes. Quite quite a long part of Finland in the border area. It's Karelia. It's, there is South Karelia and North Karelia and in Russian side there is a, a Vienna Karelia and also uh, there is a Karelian area. Uh, around the Petrosko, Petrosavotsk uh, okay. city, there is a big city. So it's a quite huge area between, yeah. also in Finland and also in Russia. Yeah. And there is this long history from the Second World War also that part of Finland was, uh, then uh, it became part of Russia after the war. Okay. So there is a lot of, lot of history connected to this, okay. this area. And are Many they, kind of history and yeah. okay. is the the Karelians they are like a specific ethnic ethnic group or they are uh, I don't know say how to say ethnic group but they they are um, how to say like it's an area like in the, I'm yeah. from uh, Savo and partly from Karelia. My grandmother was from Karelia, but my roots are more in middle of Finland. Okay. So they are, I, I would say that they are like Finnish in Karelian speaking people. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. so nice. I'm going to explain how I happen to know a little bit of Karelia yes. in Portuguese <laughs> yeah, for people please. who are watching. Então, é, eu conheci a Amy, I'm going to explain how we met, also. Yeah. Um, eu conheci a Amy, a gente se conheceu no ano de 2007, enquanto eu estive na Finlândia, para estudar um mestrado em performance de folk music, e numa universidade que chama Sibelius Academy, uma universidade incrível, muito, muito legal mesmo. E a gente se conheceu nesse período, a gente estudou juntas algumas matérias, e 
E nesse período eu estudei, né, durante um ano, música tradicional finlandesa e outros, outras músicas tradicionais de outras partes do mundo também. Foi um ano que eu tive essa experiência. I was just saying that we met in Sibelius and yes. then we studied yes. together during that, that period. It was so nice. It was really nice. Yes, we had it this was. improvisation, vocal improvisation class. Yeah, we had, yes, one year. Almost, yes. or even one year. Yes. Vocal improvisation. Yes, it was And really nice. We tried nice. the throat singing, I think, also. Yes, we tried throat singing. <laughs> I don't yes. remember that anymore, but at that point I was almost making it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, well, I remembered now one song that I learned, happened to learn in Sibelius. And uh, maybe you remember also that. Kalina, Malina, I learned with Anna, Kaz yes. Anna Kaisa Liedis, Liedis, I don't think it's mm -hmm. like this, her name. I learned this song in a, in a vocal Finnish music, Finnish vocal music, folk. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the subject, the name of the class, but I remember that we were singing this with many voices and um, It was so, so beautiful. I'm a person, as you probably know, mm. that I'm in love with singing in vocal groups or singing in vocal layers. I love it so much and I miss it so much. And nowadays, it has been many years that I don't have the opportunity of singing in vocal mm. layers, but we yeah. have a loop station. <laughs> <laughs> we have a loop station that um, for if you don't know what it's a loop station it's uh, I'm gonna explain that in Portuguese porque é difícil para mim explicar um pouco difícil para mim explicar isso em inglês mas é um, o loop station ele é um equipamento que você pode gravar uma pista você grava a sua voz e aí ele reproduz essa pista e você vai gravando você pode gravar outra voz e cantar em cima. Então, o que eu vou fazer agora, eu vou fazer uma performance de uma música que eu aprendi na Sibelius, é, nessa época que eu estive estudando lá, e que se chama Kalina, eu não lembro se esse é exatamente o nome, né? Esse era um refrão que a gente cantava, e aí a música tinha estrofes. Então, esse... Hum, é, eu vou usar esse equipamento para cantar e formar várias capas. Ele também coloca uns efeitos e dá para brincar um pouco aqui com colocar e tirar essas capas. Ok. Da, da, da. 
change into this microphone. Yes. It's really beautiful. Very touching. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. Really, really beautiful. Oh, I like so much that you like <sighs> it. <laughs> I like Yes, very... I like and I can also f feel this that, oh, I, it's so nice to uh, sing in the voices and uh, I really enjoyed even it was with the looper <laughs> to hear that you were making the voices together. It was so beautiful. Oh, so thank beautiful. you. Thank you very much. I enjoy it so, so much. I enjoy it so, so much to make these different layers. And well, I could be here one hour <laughs> playing with this, but yes. maybe it wouldn't be interesting for who is listening. Uh, the first five minutes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's, it's, yes. Oh. It, yeah, and it's so fun. And I remember when we were playing, singing in the class, that we were many voices, maybe we were 20, 20 people. And uh, mm. then it's so nice, the effect that you get with those voices. It's so, so nice. Yes. And actually, I don't remember if, if I remember right, just for inform also people who are watching. Um, if I remember right, Kalina and Malina doesn't mean anything. It's just some like la da 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 is just something that you sing or does it mean anything do you know that yes they are karelian uh, in languages they are borrowed from russia uh, they are uh, kalina is a rowan tree a what and malina is a raspberry a rowan rowan it's a tree with these uh, little orange berries Ah, okay. Pihlaja in Finnish. Okay, Pihlaja. Yes, and yeah. Malina is a raspberry. Translation. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and Malina yeah, but is they a... are also being the... a raspberry. Oh, okay, so they are trees or plants. Yes, or... plants. Wow. And but they are also the name of the woman. Uh, that Kalina is the name of the woman, and Malina is also a name of the woman. Oh, okay, that's so nice to find out <laughs> because I yes. I thought someone told me that it's like just some, you know, these words that you use for singing that don't necessarily mean anything in Portuguese is la la ya la ya la ya la ya la ya la ya. They don't have a meaning, they just, yeah. just for singing. So I thought Kalina and Malina were like this, but it's very nice to find out that they are name of trees and name of women. That's very nice, mm -hmm. very powerful. Yes. Very, very powerful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I like it very it much. It gives a different, totally different meaning for the song. Yes, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I already found that it's, it's so beautiful, even if it would be just like no meaning, because I also like very much music. Um, that it's not necessarily connected to poetry. I like very, very mm -hmm. much, even if it's vocal music also, but when it, yes. when it is connected to poetry or to, you know, words, that's very, very nice also. I will look more for it, it also is. on the internet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like to perform another one? Yes, I could perform. Uh, I could take now, uh, I have bells here, I will put candle a bit side and uh, I have a uh, cow bells here, I will show you closer. They are not finished, they are from India. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, my husband bought them, he was, uh, I think, 12 years ago in India, a couple of months working there, and then he bought these bells. And yeah. then, uh, yes, yes, and then uh, I made a song with these bells. It's uh, it's called Kutar. It's it's the goddess of the moon. The goddess. And, uh, goddess of the moon. Ah, oh, that's very so feminine nice. song. Yes. yes. And uh, they yes. sound so nice, and they are tuned. They are tuned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, the song is about. It's uh, also a Karelian text, 
uh, it's about that uh, goddess of the moon was giving her gold and goddess of the day was giving her silver and there was a girl and she was walking and then she went to sleep to the grass and then came a thief and then this thief took all these chevaleries of gold and silver what the goddess of the moon and the goddess of the day had given to the girl and it's interesting that the same text the same stories exist also in uh, bulgarian and karelian tradition so they are like warning songs for the girls that they have been like a metaphoric songs for the girls that be aware that take care of yourself when you are walking in yes. the forest or you are working in the field yes yeah so, so they are very is, powerful so this is the karelian yes. story Yes, this is Karelian story. And the song in, in, in fact, sing... from North Karelia. Yeah. But but the song is your composition or is it Karelian too? It's my composition. I it's really a fusion that I'm combining. Uh, it's a Karelian text text, and then I have some influences from Bulgarian and also some Nordic uh, tradition. Okay. This is really really fusion yes. <laughs> with okay. Indian bells. So oh, I love <laughs> really it. global it's music. Intercultural. <laughs> the name of the project. <laughs> yes, it's really intercultural. Yes, I love it. So, uh, okay, here we go. Thank you. 
so beautiful. Do you hear me? <coughs> you have it? <coughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's so strong, so powerful. Yes. And this ending, the ending, like, wow. Hmm. So beautiful. Yes, I use this, uh, like this Nordic cow calling technique in the end. Uh, that here is this in the north uh, Scandinavian country, this that you can, this singing very, very high. You were calling these animals, the cows and the sheep from the far away from the fields. And and you could also communicate with the other other people if they were somewhere far away. Yeah. So how is this like they very are high? Cow callings. Cow calling. Okay. Yes, it's very, very high, a special kind of technique. Yeah. Can you make it again? Maybe it's going to clip the microphone. Yes, I, I go with for, for Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Example like yes, that. it sounds. It's probably very nice to hear it live. I mean, in person, it's like very powerful voice. Yes, yeah, it like. It is very powerful. It's like going through your body somehow. Yeah, like, yeah. like an ice. So. Yeah, that's yeah. that was a nice, <clears throat> a nice uh, comparison. It was a nice yes, way. Yes, of... and I think that. I... Yes. Yes, that if probably in Brazil people have seen Frozen too. If we have this what? Frozen, this Disney movie. Ah yes. Uh, if, that people in Brazil they have seen Frozen too, like this Frozen movies, yes. this Anna with Anna and Elsa. Yes, for sure. <laughs> like I in this Frozen too, yet. they are singing with this technique. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, they are singing with this, singing this Nordic style oh, in the really? movie. Oh, I will in the have second to watch that. Yes, I really will yeah. have to watch. Yeah, I yes. was supposed yes. to watch this already because um, my nephews, nieces, yes. they like it so much. I didn't watch it still, but yeah, yeah. Now that you say that you're singing with this technique. Is it on the first movie or first and second or on the second? In the second. Okay. I will pay attention yes. to that. Uh, and what was the name of the yes. technique? It's, it was funny that when the... It's called in uh, Swedish is kulning, kulning. But it's, uh, it's called cow calling or herd calling. But there is some uh, now videos and some articles about it in YouTube, at least yeah. videos and then some. Yeah. Yeah. If that's... you want to, somebody wants to find more information about. Yes, for sure. I will also uh, mm. leave in the, on the description of the videos, I will leave uh, some information and links for things that we are talking about here on this music chat. Yes, that's a very good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember once you told me also about the your Bulgarian experience that you have been there many times studying this music, and you told me about a mountain. Could it be that a very like magical place? Do you remember? Yes. You know what I'm talking. I remember. Yeah. I probably yeah, told tell, tell about me, this Rodopi us. mountain. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, I probably I told about this. Uh, I have I have been living in Bulgaria a couple of times, and then uh, there is some magical places in the mountains. It's called Rodopi Mountains, and then there is a story that Orpheus, this goddess of the mu god of the music and poetry, that his home is there, and that this. Uh, these mountains, they're quite low mountains between the Bulgaria and then Greece. And they are kind of saint mountains. There is a straight connection from these mountains to the universe. People are speaking about this. But somehow it's, it feels really uh, 
When you go there, there is something really magical or something spiritual in the place. And also the music is very, very beautiful with the glissandos and with pentatonic scales. And people are singing with the strong and very, very emotional voices. That there's a lot of emotions. And when, when I'm here and I have heard some old women or one old grandmothers have been singing there, I start to cry. Is it wow. so touching? Yeah. The music there. Yes, I believe. I believe. Well, I heard. Yes. I heard some of the, the mystery of, Bu Bulgarian voice. Is it the name of the group? Yes, mystery of the Bulgarian voices. Yes. yes. I heard some of the the recordings, and yeah, it's. A, it's. I don't know. I maybe I'm not able to describe, especially in English you know, have words to describe how I feel those voices, but I recommend everyone to listen who haven't listened yet. Yes. And um, I was singing in, um, I don't know, you, I probably told you sometime that before I went to Finland, I was performing in a group of uh, like folk music uh, called Bayaka here in mm -hmm. my hometown, Curitiba, and uh, we were performing, it was like a big group of 25 people, there was like 15 instrumentalists and 10 singers, I was one of the singers, and we were performing folk music from all over the world. Uh, yes. We had a, a teacher who uh, made the group who get us together, and his name is Plinio Silva, and the vocal teacher was Liane Guariente. They are like researchers on folk music around the world, Musica dos Povos mm. in Portuguese. And we were singing a Bulgarian song. We were singing a Bulgarian song. Actually, it was a Bulgarian song that was uh, mixed with a Russian vocal line so it was uh the name okay. of, the name of the group let me see if i find it here because i was just listening to this today um the name of the song is midnight tale sorry i just wanted to find out the name of the group uh the name of the group is Wait, the Bulgarian voice Angelit and the Moscow art Angelite, trio. Yes. So they were mixing Bulgarian music with uh, Russian music. And uh, I heard some mm. of the other songs. It's so, so beautiful. And I prepared to perform here for you and for everybody who's seen this song <laughs> that it's called The Midnight Tale which is Bulgarian yes. voice with um, this Russian vocal singing. Actually, yes, I don't know what the lyrics mean. If I could find out, it would be very nice. And uh, but I find it so, so beautiful, even if if even without knowing the meaning, I will just prepare here just one second. Mm -hmm. Yana to chologala, yana to chologala, gui gui gu gu te gu kai du mai galabe. Mai deya no dai de, mai deya no dai de, gui gui gu gu te gu kai du mai galabe. Yana to chologala. My day, I know that I did. My day, I know that I 
song yeah i love it so much i sung only like a part of it it's very long and the bulgarian part has more lyrics that we used to sing at that time and the russian part also has different phrases i was singing only one phrase but it's just uh, the lyrics that i remember and that i could find i tried to find but i couldn't mm. find and um mm. So it was just like a small performance of this. But yeah, I like it so much, the combination of these voices. And the original one, it's a male voice that make this upper voice. So the combination of yes. female voices yes. on the ostinato with the male voice going, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know, it brings me a lot of peace. Lot of yes. peace and calm. I like it so much. Mm. And do you? Yes. Have you heard this one before? Maybe before I performed it another time. I performed it, but did you hear this one? I have heard this Bulgarian version of it. Yeah. This. It's a telling about. Uh, it's a. Galabel, I think it's a dove bird that sing sing my dove. That is that a, what? It's a girl Jana singing to this. There is a girl Jana who is singing to this bird, a, a dove. And then sing sing kuku kuku kuiku 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 ah, so okay. Uh, this is like the bird. Good, yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's so imitating nice. of the bird singing. Yes. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, but this Russian, the Russian song I haven't heard. I would like to hear this version. I must find it from. Yeah. Well, there is in YouTube. Internet. I'm gonna send you okay. the YouTube link. Yeah. Yes, it, I do. I would like to hear it. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's it's uh, when we were performing this in like 2003, 2004, like internet was not. The way it is bef it, it is nowadays so mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. um we it was not maybe nowadays i can try to contact someone from bulgaria or i can try to contact with these people that recorded but at that time it 
this was like not a possibility it was much more much harder mm. nowadays it's much easier mm. to try to find out what what you're saying what i was singing what is the russian part singing also mm. and how does also the text match yes it's very very interesting to find out mm. and um uh, I would like to hear you. <laughs> would you like to perform a Bulgarian? A Bulgarian, or I mean, I prefer to hear your songs. Yes. But it would be very nice also to hear because I'm not a specialist in Bulgarian music. I'm just an enthusiastic. <laughs> but you're, you, it would be very nice to hear you performing the Bulgarian. Yes, I could perform. But I, yes, what kind of song you would like to hear? I, I don't know. I think that anything that you Whatever. sing and play, it would be wonderful. Yeah, your songs are with the cantele or without the cantele. Yes. Yeah. Um, let me think. I could sing one uh, song I learned there in the Rodopi Mountains. Uh, it was 2018. I was there working in one camp. It was a music camp for uh, European folk musicians. And there was the old lady. She was then 94 years old. Uh, she was called Baba Marika. So it was like a grandmother Marika. Yes. And uh, she, she she sang this song. And is it okay if I check the lyrics from here, from my yeah, computer? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, yeah. I will make a break I can here. even share it for you, so everybody can hear, see it. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. really nice. Yeah. Uh, this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is host disabled participant screen sharing. I cannot okay. share, share the screen. Can you uh, allow me to share the screen? Yes. Uh, maybe because we are recording. Because I have not. It's I possible. Don't, I don't have this option here. Uh, Maybe. But then I can... Mm. Uh, yeah. It, or I just... It like this. Yes. We can we, hear we you. We can make it here. But can you see me now? Yes. Yeah. We can see yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. So this song is telling about uh, Zakorka, a girl. Uh, it's time to say goodbye, farewell, farewell, love, and and then it, this is a separation song. That how we will part, dearest. How will we? How we will forget each other? And uh, it said that if we forget our love, when the seed dries up, when it becomes a straight field. When it has been plowed, when the corn has been planted, when we got it together, then we forget each other. It's a very, very powerful song. Wow. And then I remember this Papa Marika told, she was very open, very, very special woman. I must send you, I think I have some in my Instagram channel, I have a video from her. Okay. And uh, then she told that she had a really unhappy marriage, this yeah. woman. Okay. And then her husband died when she was 60. Okay. So 30. And then she said that my life started after he died. Wow. And yeah. it was like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunately and then she sang this very song. common. <laughs> unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I also in my family, there is similar stories. Yeah. So, yeah. Our mm. history. Yes. Now a song from Baba Marika. Oh, 
פרבים שתסל יובלה. some improvisation okay for this. wonderful or, or maybe I play a bit a uh, bit part of my song called uh, Yoik of the White Knight yeah I remember that one that's really beautiful. yes wonderful yeah Oh, oh, oh. 
much, Amy. It sounds wonderful. Thank you. It sounds wonderful. Your voice, Thank with the cantele and <laughs> your presence, everything. It, it makes, you know, a so beautiful combination. Your voice with the cantele, it's like together one thing. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. Congratulations for your art. And uh, well, we thank you for invitation. To... Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to. I'm have very you happy here. to be part of your project. This is oh, this is wonderful project you have. Oh, thank you very, so very much. Very wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> and um, yeah. well, yeah, mm. I will say maybe a few words in in Portuguese to say goodbye for people who are watching yes. and. Uh, but thank you very much. I'm a big fan of you. I really like your music very, very much. And saying a few words too, in Portuguese. You, your... uh, uh, would you like to say something? Hello? I would like to say that... Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello? Yes. Uh, I would like to uh, wish everybody a really, really nice spring and yes. enjoy your to music and art and the nature, what is starting to bloom, at least here in North. <laughs> but I don't know how is it in Brazil, <laughs> in fact. We, we have a summer time, well, for who is watching in another time, because we never know. We have summer time, we yes. are in February and it's summer in Brazil. Uh, it's Wow. Yeah. The different that's why you are brown i think because yeah maybe a yeah you bit. look so summer <laughs> yeah i was yes. in january i was <laughs> in the beach <laughs> okay ah. um eu queria agradecer muito vou falar umas palavras finais quero agradecer muito é, você que está assistindo e quero dizer que eu espero que você tenha gostado muito desse vídeo desse conteúdo que você assista os outros vídeos também os outros oito vídeos da série com artistas da, de Gana, Colômbia, Kurdistão, França, Venezuela, Espanha, Guiné-Bissau e Argentina. Também tem o primeiro vídeo da série onde eu explico mais sobre esse projeto e sobre mim. E é isso. Fiquem bem, fiquem em paz. E thank you, Amy, very much. Muito obrigada a todos. Thank you, Thais. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.